Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on page eight. Page eight of uh, Stamperia's Sir Vagabond Aviator. The longest title ever. Okay, I've got everything laid out here, I think. And I'm doing something a little different, which I think will be fun. Okay, we've got a, two flaps. One, two, and... <laughs> a pocket somewhere. I must have moved it. I was trying to clean my desk up before I started recording and I, I moved the pocket. <sighs> what did I do with it? I don't know. I'll find it. Let's go ahead and get started with the flaps. So as you can see, I fussy cut around this element um, and this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And I think this looks really cool. And We're going to, here it is, I think, amplify it. So this is going to go on the top flap, and this is going to go on the lower flap. So there's the whole 8x8, and I fussy cut just like that. When you get to the tip of the wings, you just come straight across. My straight was not so straight here, but it doesn't matter because it's going to match up like this. Now, as you can see, there is no black outline. And I didn't want to add one because I really want this to sort of disappear and be a little bit of a surprise when we go to open the flap. Now, to save you guys the pain and agony of watching me go around every single element, I went ahead and um, made up my panel and then glued this down and then cut around it. So I fussy cut first this, glued it onto a, a, a rectangular panel, and then fussy cut around it. Okay, so that's done already. And I'm not gonna do that with this side and I'll show you why in just a second. So let's go ahead and add this to the bottom of page eight. Page eight, I wanted to end with something cool. And hopefully this is it. Okay, now the top flap is going to be this. I'll give you the measurements. So this one I'm not giving you the measurements because, well, I can, but you're going to fussy cut around it. So it needs to be uh, you need to start with like six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight, and then fussy cut around it. Okay, that's that. Now this is five and a half by eight. Five and a half by eight. Score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. I do this. And it's going to go on the top. Like so. Okay. So now you can really see how that's popping out. This is going to go on top, but before I put it down, I want to put some paper under it so that you'll see it peeking out. And this is, I gotta line everything back up, sorry. This is gonna go here, and this is gonna go here, because that's gonna be a pocket. It's up here. And this is right here. Okay, so what's gonna go on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this inside, is this, which is going to match this. So I took this from the 12 by 12 backgrounds. It's gonna be the top and lower flap. So I did fussy cut around, I laid it down, traced it, and then fussy cut it, and now I'm gonna lay it down. So I still probably have to fine tune it just a little bit after I get it in. Um, so the 12 by 12 will cover the top flap, the lower flap, and what we're going to cover the front, rest of the front with. Okay, I'll pull those all out so you don't have to look at it. So we're going to lay this down first and make sure they're both the same width. And they are. So I'm going to ink it. We're going to put it on the lower part of this panel. But before we glue it down, we have one more task, and that is to add a magnet. <clears throat> okay. Oops. 
So the words go up and down in every which way. So this is how I'm planning on putting it in. I'm gonna hold it in place, do a little reference line with my pencil to help me place the magnet. So I don't really want the magnet behind here. I think it'll be, I don't know, too, too weird. So I wanna put it somewhere between here and here. There's my two little marks, so I'm gonna add a magnet. Right, oops, I should have done that on here, not on the color right there. So we'll put a magnet right about there. Hmm. And I'm just going to check and see. Yeah. That's about right. Now we'll add the second one. That didn't cover very well. Glue dots are weird. They don't behave the way you think they should. Okay. All right, now we're ready to put this in. still puts them in a booklet, which I don't like. I prefer it to be loose so I don't have to deal with this. I'm going to take it out of the package anyways because I want to put patterns on patterns to make decisions. You can't do that when it's in a booklet. Sorry, there's just a little bit of adhesive left there. Okay, so that's in. Now we're just going to lay this right on top. Okay. I saw a crafter, oh, I'll try to find her again and put her in in the description, who did this with Lady Vagabond, or one of the Vagabonds, and she did it with that balloon that had a ship on, attached to it. She had cut around the balloon and done this, and I thought, wow, that's a really clever idea. I really like it. So I was inspired by her. And if I can find her again, you know how that is. I don't. I look at so many things that <laughs> my history is a mess. It, sometimes it takes me hours to go back and find something. I should have saved it when I found her. So there you go. Oh no! I glued it on backwards. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta get it up before it dries. Oh no! Say it isn't so. I should have tested that before. That was stupid. It goes this way. Ay, ay, ay. Look at all my torn paper. That stinks. I only have one of these. So I think I'm going to double check and see if this pattern is also in the background pack because there are some duplicates but I don't think there is if if not what I'm going to do is I'm going to coffee stain that to hide it I mean there's other ones that I could use but I want it, I really wanted it to look seamless so that's what I'm going to do so don't make the same mistake I did I'm going to come back and coffee stain that because I really do want it 
to just be the same part of the same picture. And if I didn't have this in here, I probably could have gotten away with something else, but this is all part of one image. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down as is, and then I'm going to come back and carefully um, with uh, coffee or tea, use uh, a stamp or a, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? This, one of these things to go over it. I don't want to use ink. Ink is going to be too dark. And I like the water because it is it will spread differently than the ink does. And then hopefully I'll get something that looks a little bit like, you know, this. That's the goal. We'll see. You guys will get to see it with me. And I hope it works out well because then you'll just have another technique in your pocket when you do something dumb like this. Okay. There we go. It needs to go up just a bit. Let me see if I can nudge it. <clears throat> Apparently, I need to close that to get this in the right spot. I'm going to put a healthy amount of glue so I can wiggle it around once I get it down. Oops, I was showing a little bit of blue was peeking out there. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna wait for this to get good and dry before I try to uh, do anything with that. Okay, now we're ready to add this piece and this piece. I'm gonna dry fit this real quick. It looks good. I'm gonna do the same thing and kind of be generous with the glue so I can slide this right into the perfect spot. And I know that I have it right side up, I can't. <laughs> How about that? Just like downtown. Okay, perfect, perfect. Looks like I need to come in. Oh, that's glue. I thought it was in, uh, white cardstock. Might need to come through and um, re ink uh, some of these little tiny corners. Okay, there we go. So now, let's go ahead and put this down. Everything is inked. <clears throat> okay, now can't put it off any longer, gotta find my pocket. It's around here somewhere. I think that goes up here. Let's go here. There it is. Here's my pocket. So the pocket's gonna go right here on the inside. Like so.
and I wanted to do this side. Uh, I chose this side because of the blue. Pulls this back in. Uh, eight by eight. 12 by 12, eight by eight. Oh, I should tell you the middle of the pocket. Duh. Here's my number. The pocket is four by nine. Four by nine, score half inch on three sides. Two formal pocket. <clears throat> okay, and this is just going to go right here. It's a continuation of the pattern, you can see. <clears throat> Pretty cool. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna come back and tea stain that. I'm gonna let it dry. So when I come back, I'm going to show you what I do here, and then also I'll um, go ahead and design uh, an insert for this page. Pretty cool. Okay, back soon, guys.